the U.S. should redeploy tactical nuclear weapons to South Korea due to Russia and China. Senator, the U.S. should redeploy tactical nuclear weapons to South Korea as increased cooperation with Russia and China have made North Korea a source of global instability well beyond the Korean Peninsula, Republican Senator Roger Wicker has said. Wicker made the suggestion in a report, 21st Century Peace Through Strength, a generational investment in the U.S. military, which was published. The document also calls for the U.S. defense budget to be increased by $55 billion to $950 billion in 2025. North Korea continues to outpace expectations with respect to its nuclear and missile programs with capabilities that can target the continental U.S., the lawmaker said, adding that with no immediate diplomatic solution in sight, Washington must ensure that deterrence does not not erode on the Korean Peninsula. According to Wicca, the U.S. should continue drills with South Korea, maintain a persistent military presence in the area and explore new options such as the redeployment of U.S. tactical nuclear weapons on the Korean Peninsula. He also called for discussions with South Korea, Japan and Australia to gauge their willingness to engage in a nuclear burden-sharing arrangement with the U.S., similar to those existing with NATO allies. North Korea's strategic alignment with Russia and China in recent years has provided it with a steady stream of revenue and made the communist country a source of global instability well beyond the Korean Peninsula, the lawmaker claimed. The international sanctions which had once crippled North Korea's economy have stopped being effective because Moscow and Beijing are refusing to implement them, he added. American nuclear weapons were first deployed to South Korea in 1958. The number of the weapons peaked at almost 950, both strategic and tactical, in the late 1960s. They were withdrawn in 1991 under the administration of then-President George Bush. Last month, North Korea carried out a simulated nuclear counter-attack against enemy targets. The drills were observed in person by the country's leader, Kim Jong-un. Ukraine can destroy Russian Tu-95 and Tu-22, a Ukrainian colonel called a miracle weapon. The Ukrainian Armed Forces colonel noted that it is critically necessary for Ukraine to have permission from Western countries to launch strikes with their weapons on Russian territory. The likelihood of making a positive decision for Ukraine was commented on by Colonel of the Armed Forces of Ukraine and military expert Petra Chernik in an interview with Glavred. Chernik recalls that a similar situation with Western countries' hesitation in providing Ukraine with certain types of weapons has been going on for a long time. In June 2022, when I was in the combat zone in the Donetsk region, U.S. President Joseph Biden stated that he would not provide Ukraine with F-16 fighters because this would mean crossing red lines and further escalation. But time has passed, and Biden decided to take this step, and we will have F-16s. There is a hope that by early to mid-summer, the fighters will be operating in Ukraine. If this happens, it will be a tremendous success for us, Chernik said. He adds that the situation is similar with long-range missiles. Of course, we are interested in ATACMS with a range of 300 kilometers, but the Ukrainian Armed Forces colonel notes that it is worth paying attention to the missiles that are used on F-16, in particular the incredible AGM-158 JASSM. There are configurations that allow you to strike enemy targets at a distance of up to 900 kilometers, the expert noted. According to him, a strike by five ATA CMS missiles on Russian targets in the Donetsk region, in particular in occupied Mospino, led to the destruction of at least three S-300, stroke 400 launchers, a radar and a combat control vehicle. This incident indicates serious problems for the enemy with anti-aircraft missile cover and the AGM-158 JASSM missile with a range of up to 900 kilometers can easily fly to the airfield in Engels where the strategic attack missile carriers are based. T-95MS, TU-160 and TU-22M3. The ability to strike with such missiles can radically change everything, he notes. However, he notes that another example of a Western reaction should be kept in mind. Almost a month and a half ago, the information space was filled with militaristic rhetoric from Macron about the possibility of sending French troops into Ukraine, but this did not happen and the topic disappeared from the information agenda. It's difficult to say exactly what decisions will be made in the West, but we critically need the Western world to allow the use of its long-range weapons on the territory of the Russian Federation, he concluded.